You know what? I'm only filling in on here, so don't you worry. I'll be gone next week. Anyway, you're in South End. If you look around South End, you know that that place is growing. I mean, every week it seems like a new building or restaurant's popping up. Oh, you are so right, Carolyn. And people that we spoke to today say they are not surprised here at Suffolk Punch, the site of tomorrow's fundraiser, by the way. Getting busy. Happy Friday. A new state of the Center City report was released yesterday looking at what many big metro areas hope to offer. And that's a place to work, live, and play. New businesses are popping up all the time. Like these restaurants over here, coffee shop, Shake Shack, um, all kind of different like interior design places I saw back I that do. way. I literally grew up in this side of town, so I like how everything has changed and all the arts and everything is more multicultural and very diverse here, so yeah. This year alone, over $4 billion in development is planned for Charlotte's metro area, including South End. It starts with the transit system, the blue line. So after that system was put in, right, a whole bunch of growth came in and around that. According to James Labar from Center City Partners, only two markets in the country doubled their office space in the last five years. One of them is South End. As those buildings are proposed, you'll be able to count the amount of square footage that comes together and each all that square footage in each of those buildings, put it into a certain region and South End submarket is white hot including Lowe's Global Technology Center, breaking state records at $889 per square foot. But as the saying goes, all work and no play makes this Jane a dull girl. So what about fun? That experience piece is really important for residents and employees. And South End and Uptown, it's a great mixture of experiences that draws in a lot of people including its eight breweries and proximity to Bank of America Stadium. Actually, my husband and I come down here every weekend and we love walking the trails and we stop and we get kombucha like at Lenny Boy and then we'll walk to step town. There's just so much to do right in this area. More than 120 people estimated to move to Charlotte each day, all trying to find somewhere to call home. Are the number of jobs being created uh, equal to the number of houses coming on? And so that's, that's definitely one of Charlotte's challenges, but I think the community is taking a number of steps to meet it. Including mobility, a number of electric bikes already parked here at South End. Now the hope is that a new and expanded uh, transit system, including a new station for the Blue Line, will help connect the community. If you've driven around South End, you probably noticed a lot of the construction crews showing that growth, maybe even frustrated on South Boulevard with some of those construction projects uh, with those lane closures. I looked at Charlotte City maps and it looks like three separate projects are working. They should wrap up by next month. Live in South End, Jane Monreal, WCNC, Charlotte. Jane Monreal, I got it. You can call me Caroline Brick from now on. It's fair.